Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening, Rodrigo. Well, um, <clears throat> so how are you doing, Rodrigo? Um, excuse me, teacher. How are you doing today? Um, fine, thanks, teacher. I'm, I'm very tired, but I'm fine. And you? You you said you're tired. Uh, yes, yes. I'm very tired. Uh, because Did you work yesterday? Yes, I, I worked yesterday. Wow, so that's, you didn't have vacation, huh? Uh, only vacation in annual, como se dice? Annual vacation? Yes. Okay. In December, I I don't have vacation. Wow, it's very difficult, huh? But by anyway, yes, it is what it is. So we have to do whatever it takes. So welcome, Luis Montano. Welcome another to another class. I didn't see you these last days, but it's nice to see that you're back again. Good evening. Good evening. So probably, guys, the others are going to connect throughout the session. We really don't know. We're hoping so. We are almost about to finish, guys. The you know the the module. It is only today and tomorrow, the last classes that we're going to have. And uh, as I've been telling you this few days ago it's like we're gonna have the exam tomorrow okay so i need everyone to be here i'm expecting everyone to be here so just let me check the information here Well, okay, so as usual, guys, I'm going to start by asking you questions regarding to the previous topic. Yesterday, we didn't have class, so um, I mean, uh, I don't know if you studied or not, but what do you guys remember about our last class that was on Tuesday? What do you guys remember about that class? What did we see? Um, okay. I remember the last class, mm -hmm. uh, the different sports and different vocabulary. Yeah, we saw vocabulary about sports. So today, guys, before, uh, welcome, Rocio. Hi. Welcome, Georgina. I see that you're connected to. So Good evening. Good evening. So we're going to do a practice, actually, guys, right now. And the practice is going to be the following one. I am going to tell you a sport. And what I, what I will need you to do is that, let me see, just let me double check the information here, because I don't know if we got it. OK. All right, so I'm going to give you a list of some sports. And what I want you to do is to write that down on a notebook. And also, next to the sport, I need you to write what is the verb that we have to use. For example, you remember the verb do, the verb play, 
and the verb go that we use with the sports. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to tell you sport, you write it down, and next to it, I will ask you to write the verb that we use with that sport. Do you understand? Um, yes, teacher. For example, uh, you say uh, karate, and I write uh, do or play or go. Excellent. Exactly. That's what we're going to do. So we're going to start right now with the list of the of the sports. So I really don't know if the others are going to connect today or not. I'm expecting they will. So, um, oh, uh, another question that I have before we start. Georgina, Luis Montano, and Rocio. Uh, well, Rocio, you told me that you already finished the platform, correct? Yes, I finished, teacher. Okay. So in that case, I would like to know if you already received the, the certificate. Yes, uh, I received the certificate. Was everything okay? Your last names, your names, everything correct? Yes, it's correct, teacher. Perfect. What about Georgina and Luis Montano? Did you already finish the platform or no yet? Yes, finish. You finished? Did you receive the certificate already? Yes. Good. Thank you. What about you, Luis Montano? Did you finish the platform? Yes. Did you receive the certificate already? Mm, no. You have to check the platform and verify for an option that says get certificate or obtener certificado. Look for that option. If that option is not available, si no la tienes disponible, me lo haces saber para ver en qué se te puede ayudar. De lo contrario. La plataforma, la plataforma la terminé, pero no, no he visto lo, lo último, no sé. No, no, no. Uh, once you finish, una vez lo terminas, automáticamente te aparece como uh, above, como arriba. La, op la opción de obtener certificado automático. Ah, ok. Mm -hmm. Ok. So yeah, try to check también, that. I'm... También se puede ir a la parte de donde está el progreso. Ok. En la parte de arriba aparece. Yes, okay. exactly. Claro. Thank you. Ok, so Luis, if in case, si en algún caso no te aparece, me lo haces saber después de la clase o a más tardar del día de mañana. Caso contrario, te tocaría a ti comunicarte directamente con inglés corporativo, puesto que después nos quitan los accesos. Ok. Ok. Please. So, uh, Christian, welcome, Christian. Thank you, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. I have a question. Did you already finish the platform? <clears throat> Not. You have not? No. Uh, are you still missing a lot of exercises? Um, yes. Pardon? Do you still have a lot of exercises? Well, you have, uh, tienes, recuérdate que tienes hasta el día de mañana para poder terminarla toda. Eh, caso contrario, eh, si sí recibirías alguna notificación directa de administración o en este caso de inglés corporativo. So, uh, my recommendation for you is to try to work on that, que trates de trabajar en eso. You have okay. today and tomorrow, el día de mañana hasta las 12 de la medianoche para poderla terminar. Okay, teacher. Okay, good. So we're going to do a practice right now, Christian. I don't know if you have pen uh, or paper with you, but we're going to do that practice. Uh, the practice is going to be about sports. Uh, last class, we saw vocabulary about sports and, and the verbs that we use with one of the sports. 
So the practice is going to be about that. For example, I'm going to tell you one, uh, one sport and next to the sport, I will need you to write which verb we have to use with the sport I said. Do you understand? No, teacher, I don't understand. You didn't? Nothing, you didn't understand, like, no, uh, nada. Eh, eh, que, que escribiera, eh, escribiera algunos deportes, no, no entendí muy bien. For example, I will tell you a sport, like an example, what if I tell you judo? I tell you judo, you write down judo, and then next to the word judo, you will have to write which verb we use with the sport judo. Ah, okay. Judo, judo. Uh, okay, I don't know. That was just an example. That was just an example. That's going to be the practice. So the practice, I need you to write it down in your notebook. Necesito que le escribas en una piece of paper on your notebook or whatever you have with your, in your hands or hand. So I see that we got Omar, you're connected Omar, welcome. I don't know if you're gonna be here with us today. Good evening teacher. Are you gonna be in the class today, like present? No teacher. N no, you're working or what? No, no, no. If you are going to be with us today. Yes, yes. Well, espero que hayas visto la, la clase grabada. So we're going to have a practice about that today, Omar. So it's about sports. Uh, so no, no, no le he visto, teacher, perdón. Omar, Jesus Christ, what's going on, Omar? And did you finish the platform by any chance? Did you complete the platform already? <clears throat> sí. Did you get your certificate already? Uh, no, todavía no, no, no le he dado generar certificado o solicitar. But do you have the option? Yes. Okay, good. So please try to check that tomorrow or today after the class in case there's in any inconvenient or something, you let me know, okay? So okay. we're, we're going to start with the practice, guys. Let's go. We start with the first sport that is going to be cycling. 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 Now we'll go with sport number two. We got hockey, hockey, hockey. All right, now we'll go with sport number three and we got golf, golf. Golf. Now we're going to go with sport number four. We got yoga, yoga, yoga. Okay, let's go with sport number five. Sport number five is boxing. 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 Chill. Yes. Está proyectando. No, I'm not. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm.
Now we we'll go with sport number five. No, I mean, I mean number six. And we got soccer. 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 All right, we're gonna go with sport number seven. And now we go with car racing, car racing, car racing, car racing. How many do we have? Seven, right? Yes, teacher, seven. Seven. Okay, let's go to number eight. In number eight, we are going to have, let's see, um, one moment, let me just check here. We're going to have running, running, running. Now we're gonna go with number nine and we have water polo, water polo, water polo, water polo. And the last one, number 10, is going to be archery, 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 archery. Okay, that's number 10. All right, so that's going to be uh, the practice, guys. Please go ahead and take a picture of what you did and send it directly through WhatsApp. You have one minute to do that. All right, so I already received the first one. This one is from Christian. Thanks so much, Christian. Christian, but you missed something. What happened with the verb? You... Ah, era el verbo, teacher. No, I mean it was it was the sport, and next to the sport, it was the verb. A la par del deporte y el verbo. No, but that's okay. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Now we got Rocio. Thanks, Rocio. Okay, that's good. Thank you very much. I got Rodrigo. All right, good. Rodrigo did the way opposite that Christian did. Luis Chavez, welcome, Luis. After vacation, how are you doing today? Good morning, teacher. Lo siento por haberme desaparecido. Yeah, you disappeared until today, but it's nice to see you're back. That's good. Well, okay, so what about Georgina? I'm still missing Georgina and Luis Montano. I only see you. Oh. Uh, yo tengo una duda. Yeah, what's I... your doubt? Uh, la última, archery. Mm -hmm. What happened with that? Utiliza un artefacto. Yes. Yo puse do, pero estoy entre. And that Por lo del artefacto. Mm-hmm. 
remember that when we when we do well i received georgina thank you georgina in that case uh rocio we have two different things that we have a pay, that we have to pay attention to for example we have uh, the arrow the arrow la flecha we have the arrow which is a thing okay. a thing used in archery we have another thing or another situation to pay attention to. What is that? That archery is a sport that we play in teams and we do competitions of archery. Unless you are not competing and you are doing archery just for fun, that's different. Did, did you understand what I tried to, to say? Eh, ahí es donde me he quedado confundida, teacher. Uh, si es en team, o sea, en, en equipo. Ajá. Uh -huh. Are you sure? Si es en equipo. Porque estamos. No, no es pregu le pregunto, o sea, porque ahí es donde me ha quedado la duda. Porque como si es una de las excepciones. Porque. Yes. Eh, Lo tomé archery como es no, no competición. Mm -hmm. No competition. No competition. If, Pero if that is not competition, competition, we can say that you're doing that uh, as a recreational activity. Si lo tomamos desde el punto en que tú lo tomaste, that's okay. Está bien. Uh. ¿Por qué? Porque lo estás practicando o lo estás haciendo por una actividad recreacional. Lo estás practicando. But it's different, okay. different that if you go to competition of archery, porque hay competición de archería, so that is different. Porque ahí vamos a tomar yes. cosas en cuenta. Which one? The arrow, the flecha, which is a thing, un objeto, and the competition. Y en ese caso, ¿cuál verbo utilizaríamos si estamos en una competición? Go. Go. No, yeah. we wouldn't no utilizar yeah. go there. A la abuela decirle. Sí. No le escuché. Uh, Luis, uh, can you please turn your microphone off? We can listen. To well, he probably doesn't. Luis, are you there? Luis Chavez, I mean. Hello. Oh, he's... Estoy, estoy trabajando en el ejercicio, teacher. Okay, turn your microphone off. Okay, he did. All right. <clears throat> now, Rocio, as I was saying, is that in este caso no podemos utilizar go. Porque primero no estamos, eh, el deporte no termina en ING. First. Sí, sí, sí. Ya, yeah, okay. Sí, hoy sí, ya, ya entendí. Teacher, sí. mm -hmm. okay. play. Play. Correct. Okay, sí, okay. But now it's clear. All right. Someone else has any doubt? Alguien más tiene alguna duda or something like that? Well, I hope no. Uh, yes, teacher. Uh, what okay. is Polo? Uh, Polo. I choose. I use do. Do. But mm -hmm. is 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 saying uh, who say swimming. No, what? Como decir not, it's question. not the same as swimming because swimming is a different thing. And water polo is that. Ah, sí. Estás nadando, right? Es la acción que está en el agua. That's obvious. Because you're in the water, we call it water polo. But the sport ah, sí. is nadar. El deporte es estar en agua nadando, pero utilizando un objeto y jugando en contra de otro equipo. So no podemos. Ajá, tiene razón. Okay. Okay. Sino que es play water polo, because we are we're having that. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Thank you. All right, so I hope it's clear. 
And uh, let's see. We're just going to move on to today's class, guys. Actually, well, tomorrow we have exam. But uh, Omar y Luis Chavez, mañana tenemos examen, chicos. Es nuestra última clase. So we have exam about everything we have seen throughout the module. Lo que hemos visto durante el módulo. So if in case, en el caso que usted verdaderamente no pueda estar, lo hace saber. Caso contrario, usted quedaría sin eso, ¿verdad? Without exam. So, uh, well, I will need your presence tomorrow. So we're going to go to today's class, guys. And it is going to be a little bit of grammar, let's say. And today we're going to talk about models. I'm pretty sure that you have probably listened to that. And let me just see what's going on here. Teacher. Yes. El examen es mañana. Viernes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes, because tomorrow we are going to have class due to the fact that we didn't have classes on, well, yesterday. So the classes from yesterday, we're going to uh, cover tomorrow. So we have, we have class tomorrow. Okay. Oh my God, I really don't know what's going on here today. Let me see. Well, I don't know if you can if you can see the screen, guys. Actually, let me see. It's not complete, teacher. Not complete, right? It's like weird. So I really don't know what's going on. Let me just go back here something happening here so i don't know what about now can you see the whole thing can you size the contention teacher okay let me just go back here i don't know what's going on probably something new can you can you see it now yes yes all right good so as you can see here today, we're gonna have guys, uh, model verbs, verbos modales. I'm pretty sure that you know a little bit about it. Seguro que más de alguno de ustedes ya sabe un poco de ello. So today we're just gonna try to understand how model verbs are used in the English language. We're going to focus specifically in two of them which are can and could. We're gonna uh, specifically work on those. So let's see, we're gonna start and we're gonna have a brief definition about what models are. I would like to have a volunteer who would like, well, you know what, Omar, I will ask you, Mark, to help me doing that. Okay, teacher. Go ahead. What are modal verbs? Mm -hmm. Modal verbs express modality, ability, possibility, necessity. Necessity. Pro necessity, probability, obligation, or other conditions or other conditions. Okay, good. So we have what all the models that we have in the English language involve all those things. Modality, ability, possibility, necessity, probability, obligation, or other conditions. As I, as I told you at the beginning, we're gonna focus only on two of them, which are can and could. Example. We have, I can cook Italian recipes. You could use my pen. And we have another example with wood. Today, we are not going to see this one, 
because the other parts of the models you are going to see in the next module. So today we're just focusing on these two, but I will read it. I would like a cup of coffee, please. So those are pretty much the models that we use and the way we use models in the English language. Now, it's something very important, guys, that you have to remember that these verbs do not work without another verb, okay? Never. So from going back here, I cannot say I can Italian recipes. No puedo decir I can Italian recipes. Necesito un verbo. That's what he's saying. Eso es lo que están diciendo acá. They never, nunca trabajan sin otro verbo. So we can never use them like that. By themselves, we cannot use them. We have to be that clear. Another important thing that you need to remember. Models are not conjugated. No se conjugan and they have no tenses y no tienen algún tiempo específico. Example, you are not going to say, for example, if instead of I, si en vez de I in, este, in this sentence, I would have, yo tuviese she, yo no voy a decir she can, agregándole la S. No, I can't do that. Because we cannot conjugate it and they have no tenses. So that's what we have to remember. When you have a model, automatically you have to remember that they have a verb next to it and they are never conjugated. Those are important things that we always need to remember. Now, moving on here, we're gonna try to understand how to create positive sentences using either can or could. We have subject plus the model verb plus the main verb plus the complement. That's what we have. So let's see an example. Subject, model verb in this case, could and can, the main verb, go and eat, and the complement. For example, I could say, I could go to the museum. We could go to the museum. You could go to the museum. They could go to the museum. He could go to the museum. She could go to the museum, and so on, and so on, and so on. Now. Let's see, let me listen to your pronunciation right now and we're gonna start with, uh, let's see, Christian. I need you, Christian, to do the following thing. Make the pronunciation from here with all the subjects with could and then all the subjects with can. Go ahead. Okay. I, I could go to the museum. 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 We could go to the museum. Mm -hmm. All, all teachers. Yes, all of them. Okay. You could go to the museum. They could go to the museum. He could go to the museum. She could go to the museum. And I can eat pizza. And we can eat pizza. You can eat pizza. They can eat pizza. He can eat pizza. She can eat pizza. Thank you very much. We're going to do the same thing, Rocio. I could go to the museum. We could go to the museum. Mm -hmm. You could go to the museum. They could go to the museum. He could go to the museum, she called go to the museum. Okay, I will stop you there, Rocio, and I will, I will correct a little bit of pronunciation here. This one sounds like that, suena como esto, could, could. Okay, that's the sound cool. looking for. 
¿ok? Ese es el sonido que más o menos pega con... We, because we do not pronounce, no pronunciamos la letra L. ¿Ok? So, good. Good. Uh, Excellent. Now, good. let's go with Ken. I can. Ok. I can eat pizza. Correct, yes. Mm -hmm. We can eat pizza. You can eat pizza. They can eat pizza. He can eat pizza. She can eat pizza. Ok, good. Now, another thing. Uh, in English, guys, in American English specifically, in English Americano específicamente, si decimos can, nos estamos refiriendo a una lata. Se escribe de la misma forma, can. And when, when we say can, cuando decimos can, nos referimos a poder, que es can. When we say can, es lata. But... En inglés eh, británico o en acento británico, tanto el decir poder y el decir lata se pronuncian de la misma forma. ¿Cómo? Ambos se pronuncian como can. They can eat pizza. So, in, in British English or in British accent, there's no difference. But in American accent, we have a difference. So we have to pay attention to that and it is important for you to know. Now let's go with, with you, Rodrigo. Okay. I could go to the museum. We could go to the museum. Good. You could go to the museum. They could go to the museum. He could go to the museum. She could go to the museum. You... I can eat pizza. Yes. Continue. Uh, I can eat pizza. We can eat pizza. You can eat pizza. They can eat pizza. He can eat pizza. She can eat pizza. Correct. Thank you very much. We're going to do the same thing with you, Luis Chavez. <clears throat> Yeah, I could go the museum. Oh, no, see, I could go to the museum. 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 We we could go to the museum. Mm -hmm. You you could go to the museum. No, they could call, could. You call go. You call go to the museum. No, here they, we have, aquí, aquí tenemos la pronunciación más cercana. Ah, ok. Could. They, they could go to the museum. Mm -hmm. he, he could go to the museum. Mm -hmm. She could go to the museum. Uh, I can eat pizza. Mm -hmm. We can eat pizza. Okay. You can eat Pizza, they mm -hmm. can't eat pizza. He can't eat pizza. She can eat pizza. Good, thank you very much. We're do we're gonna do the same thing with you, Omar. Okay. I could go to the museum. We could go to the museum. You could go to the museum. Okay. They could go to the museum. Uh, he could go to the museum and okay. she could go to the museum. Good. I can eat pizza. Mm -hmm. We can eat pizza. You can eat pizza. They can eat pizza. He can eat pizza. She can eat pizza. Great. Thank you very much. We're going to go with you, Georgina. Okay. I could go to the museum. We could go to the museum. Okay. You could go to the museum. They could go to the museum. 
She could go to the museum. Uh, she could go to the museum. Okay. I can eat pizza. Okay. We can eat pizza. You can eat pizza. Uh, they can eat pizza. He can eat pizza. She can eat pizza. Good. And we're going to finish with you, Luis Montano. Okay. I could go to the museum. Mm -hmm. We could go to the museum. To the museum. To the museum. You, you could go to the museum. To the, to the, the museum. museum. Mm -hmm. Okay. They could go to the museum. Good. He, he could go to the museum. Okay. She could go to the museum. Okay. I can eat pizza. Okay. We can eat pizza. Mm -hmm. You can eat pizza. They can eat pizza. He can eat pizza. She can eat pizza. Okay, good. Remember, Luis Montano, this one, ella no se dice she, es she, con sh, como con ese airecito, she. She, she. Thank you. Now, uh, I guess this is pretty, pretty easy, pretty uh, understandable. It's not too difficult to understand. This is pretty much the formula that we need to know or that we need to remember in order for you to make positive sentences. Now, what happened with the negative sentences? In the negative sentences, it's pretty much the same thing. What is going to change? That we are going to add the word not. Example, subject, once again, I, we, they, he, she, the models couldn't and cannot go and eat, which is the verb, and complement. This one. It's very important, guys, and pay attention to this. A model verb could in Spanish mean podría. That's what it means, could. Eso es lo que significa could, podría. But in negative, En negativo, cuando le agregamos la palabra not, no significa no pude, sino que este tiene un cambio drástico. Cuando le agregamos la palabra not, significa no pude en pasado. Como que yo dijera no pude. For example, if I say, I couldn't go to the museum, no pude ir al museo. Or for example, Si alguien me pregunta, why didn't you go to the party? ¿Por qué no fuiste a la fiesta? I'm sorry, I couldn't go. No pude ir. So, but that, eso va a pasar únicamente cuando al modal verb could, usted le agrega la palabra not. De lo contrario, si solo lo deja como could, entonces sí significa podría. Do we understand the difference? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Good. Now, with can. Can means poder, okay? But this one does not change. Este no cambia. So if I say poder y le agrego la palabra not, it's no puedo. Simple as that. That one does change. The only one that changes is could. So we have to remember that. Keep that in mind. Don't make any mistake or we the... Uh, when we have an exam or when we're speaking with someone, we don't make that mistake. For example, we have contractions. We can say could not, or we can use the contraction couldn't. It's very uh, important that you make the T sound at the end. The T sound needs to be clear. Could not or couldn't. It's up to you if you want to use this one or this one. Why? If you feel more comfortable saying could not, that's okay. If you feel more comfortable saying couldn't, that's okay too. 
Now, for cannot, we have also contraction. We can say cannot or we can say can't, okay? So those are the uh, pretty much the ones that we have in negative. For example, I couldn't go to the museum. We couldn't go to the museum. You couldn't go to the museum. They couldn't go to the museum. He couldn't go to the museum. She couldn't go. So normally Americans, guys, they love or they prefer to use contractions. Why? Because it's easier and it's a way of speaking faster. But if you don't want to use a contraction, that's also okay. Now, with the information that we just saw, is there any question that you might have? Any questions so far? For example, teacher. Yes. Uh, the sentence, I can't play football. Um, ya estaría usando el can't eh, contractado como negativo. Yes. Correct. Ya sería completo eh, modal verb más not. Correct. You say can't. I can't play football, so you can't. No puedes jugar a football. That's what you're saying. You're using contraction and you are using the model in negative because you are already saying can't. Sometimes the difference, algunas veces la diferencia, no se les escucha a algunos alumnos. Why? Porque no pronuncian la T al final, en negative. So, si usted va a decir cannot, that's okay. De ahí no hacemos ningún sonido fuerte porque ya estamos diciendo not. Pero cuando hacemos la contracción es bien necesario, really important, que usted haga el sonidito de la letra T al final. De lo contrario, usted puede pensar que está diciendo can't y se le va a entender can. Okay, can, can't, can, can't. That's the only thing. So someone else has any other question or something to say about this or it's clear? Um, teacher, mm -hmm. I remember that you say the difference cool and can uh, is cool is very more polite is correct when we say could yes the difference cool and can and uh, is, cool mm -hmm. is more polite yeah could is more polite when you say for example instead of saying can i go to the restroom you, if you say that i mean it's okay if we are friends if we have been in the same classroom or if we are co-workers, that's going to be okay if you say, can I go to the restroom? But if you say, could I go to the restroom? That's more polite. It's like, we are friends, but you are trying to be polite with us. Teacher. Mm -hmm. what is polite? I'm sorry? What is polite? Polite is, um, how do we translate that? Um, Formal, educado, polite. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Is there any other questions so far or we're clear so far? Well, I hope it's clear. So uh, we're going to move on then. And can we make questions? Yes, we can. How do we do that? We have this form. For example, WH question at the beginning, where, who, why, when, what. We already know that. And then the modal verb, can or could. Then the subject, then the main verb, and the question mark, of course. How is that? We can say, where could we go? Where could we go? What can you eat? What can you eat? So we can make those questions too. For example, if I ask you all, uh, let's see, if I ask you, let's see, Omar, 
if I ask you the question, Omar, where, where, uh, where could we go? What would you say to that question? Where could we go? Uh, we can we we can go to the party. We could go to the party. That's okay. Thank you very much. Now, Rocio, if I ask you, what can you eat? I can eat pupusa. Excellent. So we have an idea what we're talking about. That's great. So we have two forms of creating questions. This is the first one. In this one, WH is a necessary at the beginning. So we can give complete answers. Now, we also have another form, but in this form, the model verb is going to be at the beginning. Now, we do not have WH questions. As you can see, there's no WH questions there. So we use the model, then we use the subject, then we use the bird, then we use the complement, and of course, the question mark at the end. We can say, could we go to the museum? Can you eat pizza? If I ask you that, those are called, estas son llamadas, yes or no questions. Preguntas de si o no. So if someone asks me, could we go to the museum? I'm going to say either yes, yes, we could. No, we can't. Por qué decimos acá can't y no decimos couldn't? Alguien me, me lo puede decir, why not? Why do we answer like that? No respondo no couldn't. Será por el you, teacher? I'm sorry, say it again. Será por el you? Well, um, well, pretty much you have an idea. Uh, Christian, were you saying something? Uh, because that was in uh, present. Because the uh, answer is in present, but the question, la pregunta dice, ¿podríamos ir al museo? Y si yo digo, we couldn't, ya estaría diciendo, no pudimos. So no tienen, eh, they don't make sense. No tienen sentido el uno con el otro. So even though, aunque aquí tenemos could, y yo pudiese decir, no, we couldn't, pero de acuerdo al contexto y la forma lógica, logical thinking, pensamiento lógico, we cannot say, si alguien le pregunta, ¿podrías? Usted va a responder, no, no pude. Says, no, no puedo, automatically. So that's what we say. The same happens in English. Estas son como like exceptions, excepciones con could, únicamente with no, when you say no, but when you say yes, of course, you're going to say yes, we could, okay? Now, for example, if someone asks you, can you eat pizza? If, if you want to say yes, you're going to say yes, I can. Or if you want to say no, you're going to say no, I can't, or no, I cannot. Do we understand that? Entendemos esas diferencias, chicos? Do we, do we clearly understand? Yes, teacher. Good. So is there any questions so far? Preguntas hasta el momento, or it's clear? Well, I hope it's clear. So I'm gonna stop sharing guys and I'm going to try to show you a little bit about this.
I'm going to show you, let's voy a mostrar los otros modal verbs that we have in the English language. Que tenemos some other modal verbs that we have in English language, but that we, we don't use that much. So for example, here, those are the modal verbs. Estos son los 10 modal verbs that we have in English, in the, in the English language. But today, el día de hoy, solo vimos dos. Can and could. Those are the ones we saw. But it exists may, it exists might, will, would, shall, should, must, and ought to. Those are the ones that we have in general. It's okay. It's okay. I understand. No problem. Hope she gets better. We'll see you. Now, um... That's those are the ones that we have. We're gonna go because of the time, we're gonna go to small practice, a little practice, we say. And uh, let me just move here. And what I will need you to do is the following thing this is what we're gonna do, okay. Just All right, so I need you to please try to do this exercise. Do it right now. You have two minutes to do that or three minutes, and then I will start asking you questions to verify what you did. If there's any question regarding to any word that you do not understand, just let me know and I will help you out. All right, so I guess right now you had enough time like just to think about it. For example, in number one, it says, could you tell me how much it costs? Which one do you think is the correct answer? Option two. Option number two, this one. That model is a hundred dollars. And yes, that is the correct answer. Thank you, Christian. Now let's see, could I use your phone? What is the correct answer to that? Could I use your phone? The correct answer is the same number. Of course, we are a night to get a side line. Thank you very much, Christian, once again. So what about the others? He's not only Christian in the class. I need the others to participate too, not only Christian. Now, excuse me, could I have some information? What's the correct answer to that?
the others? Yes. Can I help you? Yes. Correct. So the right answer is yes. How can I help you? What do you want to know? Now, the last one. Could you send me confirmation? What is the correct answer to that question? Uh, of course. Of course, I'll do it now. You'll get it in the post tomorrow. Okay, so that's pretty much what we're going to have today, guys. Remember, tomorrow we have exam. Please, I need everyone to be here in case there's something really, really important or any situation going on. I need you to let me know so we can verify what we can do. Otherwise, I need you to be present because tomorrow is also going to be our last class. So that is going to be all for today, guys. Thank you very much for attending to the class and have a good night. Okay, good, night, good night. Good night.